Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Welcome, Welcome to this, to this week's, week's choice. choice. Would you mark it off? This week we're going to Nebraska with Uvi Handler and Broken Arrow Outfitters. We've got four guys going out there with the posse. Freddy. So, yeah, Freddy's going to hunt first. We actually sent out a group of two guys, early season bow hunting and then late season muzzleloader hunting. Yep. And you know what's cool here in Nebraska is you could take two deer, two bucks, and on Uvi's, he's got the mule deer in the flats and the whitetails in the river bottoms. That allows you to almost have, really, you could take two species of deer on one hunt. And you That's can count pretty that cool. High. That's really good. That's really good. This week, you also want to watch for that Nikon yeah. logo. So now, let's get into Freddy's whitetail hunt with Uvi Handler and Broken Arrow Outfitters, Nebraska. Look for that logo. Use your spotting scope, your rangefinder, or your binoculars. Day number two here in Nebraska with Broken Arrow Outfitters. We're set up here on the river bottom with the North Platte River. This is the same area Joe and I were in last night where we saw like 25 to 30 deer. We saw like 8 to 10 different bucks. Had one shooter late at night. They had a coyote come in and blow them out. And we saw like 15 or 20 does. There were deer everywhere last night. We're going to sit down, shut up, and let everything settle down. And hopefully we'll have a big buck on film for you real quick. Fred, I know you're nervous, but don't blow it. I, I just can't watch. I can't watch. the choice. Now, let's join posse member Joe Rush <laughs> as he has a non-typical encounter with the white Put the, the log there.
of you on the back. He goes, Joe, big monkey, big monkey. <laughs> I look up and I see that eight pointer. And I look again, I'm thinking, it's not that big. And he said, the back block and that back one, boy, he had some dull time. He went over to the scrape, the eight pointer came right through to us. The big buck went to the scrape, came around the scrape, 48 yards. I just couldn't, I didn't want to take that shot. Yeah. Last night, we were sitting in the bottoms. We had two groups of coyotes howling away, and one big old alpha male come in there and spooked all our bucks out on us. We had uh, eight bucks come in yesterday. The last group of three, one of those looked like a good 130 plus, nice shooter buck. And this coyote comes in there, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get some vengeance. 25 odd six. We'll see what we can do. Where? Where? Coming up the end of the bales. Hey, Joe, go get even. Oh, he's coming up the bales. Yeah. Got him. Okay, now I found him. Stop him again. <laughs> Got him, Ted? Yep. Had to lead him. Oh, <laughs> Had to lead him a little bit. The uh, landowner here, the rancher here, asked if we get a chance to kill some dogs. Who, if he gets a chance, we'll go ahead and do it. So after our morning hunt, we come out here. Well, this is actually vindiction a little bit for me. My hunt last night, a big old alpha male come in and busted out the last group of deer. We had eight bucks come in last night. The last group of three had a, a nice shooter in it, probably a 130 plus class deer, and uh, coyote blasts the hunt for us. They got a lot of dogs here. They need their predator control, and we just did. <laughs> Now let's join posse member Jake Beam as he goes whitetail hunting with Uvi Handler and Broken Arrow Outfitters. Just a nice solid 10 pointer. Just a nice, nice 10 pointer. Yeah, we'd been rattling like, like every 30 minutes and I was rattling Kyle goes, Buck, I didn't know where. And he just kind of popped up. 
came busting in first one this morning he just kind of snuck in this guy he came on a run so i'm pleased i couldn't be happier Welcome back to the choice. Hey Jake, congratulations on that buck. What a great, I mean, that, I think he was 40 yards. He was, he, he he looked like he was shocked or something. It's not the normal Jake expression after the shot. I think he was surprised. Yeah, you think so? He was in a daze. Yeah, well now let's well, join Well Jake's him. always in a daze. Yeah, that's nothing new. Now let's join him while he's going late season muzzleloader. Yeah, they go back to, go back, go go back, go back. They go back with Hoovy. And uh, him and Travis, outfitters. yep, him and Travis have a great hunt again on a late season muzzleloader hunt. Check okay. it out. I finally just got all my clothes off and got dressed, settled in for the evening. We've already got deer in the field, so it's looking like a good night. Travis just said, just like last year when I killed my buck up here with Hoovy, deer came in the field earlier than what we expected and from an area we didn't expect them to, but, but it worked out last year, so maybe this year it'll work out again. I got him. I got him. All my stuff's behind you. Which one is he? <laughs> hey Jake, congratulations on smoking that buck with your traditions muzzle loader. Two years in a row. Two mule deer, two traditions. Wow. <laughs> Guys, it's been a cluster. We set up, I don't know how much you can see. We set up, and at 4.30 we had deer walk through the gate we didn't think we were gonna get them. And we, we knew they were coming out right out here on our left as we're looking at our field. Three nights in a row they came out over here. I'm sitting there looking, he's 100 yards away right over here. It's a nice three by three. <laughs> well, you've seen this guy, uh, seen him go down right before dark. So we uh, we went back and got the truck so we could get some lights on him out here in the middle of the alfalfa field. And movie handler, Broken Arrow Outfitters. They got mule deer, white tail, turkeys, you name it, they've got it. We've been watching this buck for probably three days now. It's our third night hunting. and. We just finally got lucky enough to get on him and it was happened to be my turn to hunt. Um, you know, proud to shoot him and proud to, proud to let the traditions make some noise. We smoked him with that first shot and he just ran dead away. And... Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the choice. choice. Would you stop that? Hey, it, congratulations, Jake. That was yeah, a great buck that in the was, muzzle. That was a great buck. And now it's Travis. It's Travis. Turn. And you know, you gotta understand, Travis is from New, originally from New Mexico. From there, I'm really not sure, but I think it was where that the aliens landed. He, no, he wasn't from Roswell. No, no but it was close. It was close it was because close. he, he might scares look like me sometimes. Once in a while, but, you know. <laughs> but he's actually not done a whole bunch of whitetail hunting. So and he's getting into it big he's, time. He's really getting into it, and, and this is one of his. It, this is his best whitetail that he's ever his taken. His best so, whitetail. So before we give it away, yeah, sorry. Check out this footage. Check out. Do 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 do. Last morning in Nebraska with Broken Arrow Outfitters. Uh, just to recap the hunt that we've had so far. Jake shot a nice mealy buck about three nights ago. We've seen tons of deer, absolutely hundreds of deer. Uh, we've set them down in the river bottoms now for whitetails for like the last, uh, this is our second morning and two evenings. So uh, it's been pretty productive. We've seen 
you know, on an average of 30 deer is saying, this is our last morning, I gotta go back to the studio and start editing, and uh, Jake's gotta go back to work, so it's do or die time, baby, and hopefully we'll be dying and not doing, or maybe doing and they'll be doing some dying or something. Yeah, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Last day, baby. Smoked him. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's a stinky little boy. Yeah. Nice, hey, look at that big old long brow tine. Man. He came through, came through the river. We'd seen this deer a few times. He's got such good main beam, he just, he comes together. And uh, my biggest white tail buck ever. Comes through, we see him, we hear him break the ice where all the deer have been crossing. We had four doors, four does come through. He was the fifth deer. Came through, he knew something wasn't right. He kind of saw us. <laughs> And uh, he gave me a quarter-way shot, put it right behind the shoulder, squeeze the tri trigger traditions. Roll them over, baby. Roll them over. Wow, that away, Buckethead. Good first. Good. That was your best whitetail ever. Was that a term of endearment? Endearment. You don't want Travis to think you don't love him anymore? No, we got to call him Buckethead. Yeah, AKA, he, he, AKA, AKA Buckethead. Buckethead, yeah. But you know, all in all, what a awesome. great, you know, when you think about a great experience and a great opportunity, you know, heading to Nebraska, where you could t have an opportunity of taking two deer, two bucks, and two different species. Well, the other thing too, that's that, they, cool. that they saw up there, and I know they didn't get a bunch of footage because they weren't hunting turkeys, there, was turkeys. A ton of turkeys, of turkeys up there with, with Uvi, and yeah. And as you know, I, I hate turkeys. I know you hate turkeys, but Don't like we hope you enjoyed this week's show, and we hope that you looked for your Nikon logo. You need to go to huntingnet.com slash the choice and let us know where you saw that logo. So thanks for making your choice. The choice. See you next week. <laughs>